We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. So there's a cutscene coming up. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. There we go. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious arch stones. One the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the borrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Yep, yep. By the paw of the monumentals, the four sealed arc stones have been released. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber, and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. So we learn more about the... side quests, or the side quests, more about the main story. Obviously this game, as all the other Souls games are... pretty cryptic as to what's going on in the game. And if you look down there... you can see stuff. And the stuff you see is, oh my god, I'm dying! <laughs> that was on purpose, because, and that's the one thing I want to explain, I guess, is... The little thing over here called World Tendency. You can see these... Arc Stones. Boletarian Palace is what we did, and as you can see, it l is a little bit glowing. The white glow and that is the world tendency now what the world tendency is is if you're killing a boss you get white tendency if you I think if you invade you might do I don't know I don't know the invade stuff but you get white tendency if you kill bosses I think if you do side quests you do get white tendency as well why I killed myself is because of the tendencies because if you die in a world while in body form while you're not in soul form 
you will push that world towards black tendency. Now, if you have pure white, that means you can do quests and you can access areas that are blocked off by the tendency. So, there are areas in this game that you can only access while in pure white tendency or pure black tendency. So, if you want to get a world to pure black, for example, you would go into, like, let's say this right here. Which one? I think this is the Shadowman? Shrine of Storms. Let's say you want the Arcstone of the Shadowman, pure black. What you would do is finish a boss, you regain your body form, you go into this storm world, Storm of the Sh or Arcstone of the Shadowman, and you would jump down and die on purpose to get the world more towards black. And you can always do that when you're alive. Now, one thing you could do is, I have these stones, you can use these stones that you find in the world if you want to really go for pure black. And you can revive, like with humanity, you can go into, the, into this level and again, kill yourself while the stone is active. So you go back into soul form, you push the world more towards black. So if it, if a world is pure black, you get, I think, oh, I forgot the name of them, but there are some sort of monsters that are only, sp they, they only spawn in black tendency. You can kill them, and as I said, pure white are, especially in Arkstone there, the Arkstone number one, there is stuff in there that I want that is pure white. Now, if you play online, the tendencies shift towards a momentum where the players go. So let's say a lot of people or the most people are going towards black tendency, your world tendency here would sh I think the world tendency does that. The world tendency would shift without you killing bosses or suiciding yourself in human form would shift towards that tendency. So if a lot of people kill themselves and whatever and don't kill bosses or, or whatever, you could not do anything and just be around in the level. I think it's only when you're in the level, but I'm not sure. It might be everywhere. I'm not sure about that, but it could shift to black tendency without you doing anything. That's why I'm offline. Well, I'm offline because my PlayStation 4 is online and I don't want to clip it uh, around. I don't want to change the cables, but that's one of the main things, you know. But th that's why I killed myself because I don't want to get towards black. I want pure white for the most part. Pure black makes the game harder as well, but... You get more souls for killing enemies. And I think pure white makes it easier. I'm not sure though. But I think so. And this is the lady. Which is the maiden in black. Pretty much the good version of the Emerald Herald. Because the Emerald Herald was just a wannabe maiden in black. Brave soul who fears not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. We get some eyes here. Ice stones temporarily connect to the diffused worlds. Should you lose your physical form, remember the ice stones. The maiden controls inhuman souls. This power allows her to aid those who slay demons. What is it? So the good thing right now, the main difference between the Emerald Herald so be it. and the maiden Control. in black thou strength. is exactly... Well, right now Touch it's not really, but me. it is. I'm gonna. These ownerless souls become thine own. I forgot how much they talk, so I talk over it a lot. Now, I shall await. I am Emerald Herald. You go there, and everyone that plays Dark Souls 2 or played it know Bear Seek Seek Lest, which is pretty much she says, Bearer of the Curse, Seek more souls, uh, blah, 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 whatever. She says this whole long thing and you skip it and then she says, bear, seek, seek, lest, right? You skip all of the dialogue. Now, with the Maiden in Black, they made it really good because now, let, watch what happens. I talk to her, I skip that stuff, and now I'm in here, and now she's saying that stuff while I can level up. That is so much better than whatever they did in, I don't know, this is just a subtlety that makes this experience in Ducks and Demon Souls so much smoother. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go Dex. I decided I'm gonna go a Dex build. I don't know. I think I need to go to 16 or whatever, but... 
First, I'm gonna push Dex. There's a weapon that I want. And... Uh, am I going to... Um... Yeah. Maybe maybe he's responding now. Ah! There we go. That belongs to my daughter. Then... She didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby. May she rest in peace. May I ask you a favor? Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I'm unsaintly. Oh, I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. It's all right. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Ring of Herculean Strength. I think... I'm not sure. I need to check. I think that's the Havel's equivalent. Raises maximum item burden. Is I, Item burden is not equip burden, right? Now, that's another thing. Item burden. Big, big difference. Item burden right now is... In this game, you cannot carry whatever you want. Now, that's why Stockpile Thomas is really important. Item burden. Now, you can see right now, my item burden is 69 <laughs> uh, of 92. And... Stockpile Thomas is a bro. Because if we go to him and we're like, oh, okay, you're Stockpile Thomas. Where fuck? Where's the shit? It's here. We're like, okay, we don't need the upgrade materials. We don't need the bastard sword. We don't really need the mail breakers or the soldier shield or the knight shield for now. Crossbow, and eh, we can just keep that for now. We don't need that. We don't really need the ragged gloves. And I don't think we will need this stuff for now, right? We don't- we just don't need it. Other stuff... Scimitar, I want to see if that it might be better, so... Rest is your best of luck. So now that we've put some stuff in, we are at 29 or 30 out of 92, so you can only carry that much. So if you go into a level and you are at like, I don't know, 80 of 92 and you pick up like, I don't know, an armor set, you're fucked. Because if you're unable to take the armor set with you, well, it's not good, right? Okay, the falchion, or it's the scimitar. The scimitar is almost better, so I'm gonna use that. It's a little lighter, makes me a little bit more agile. 